Looks like sin, he's heavy sin Third person, omnipotent Great words, no difference I don't rap, I make art Bird need a race car This ain't for the faint heart Above clouds like gang star Welcome to the newest installment of the podcast series, episode number 30. YouTube, Spotify, Apple Apple Podcasts, I'm there. Follow me at Slightly Daily on all social media platforms. I got a good friend of mine, a longtime friend of mine, Mr. Clint. We're quarantined right now. Yeah, we're quarantined. Uh, <laughs> hopefully he's not infected because I let him in my house. Yeah, I um, just fucked him all right now. Uh, but yeah, this is a good friend of mine and we... It's good to catch up. This is this is the beautiful thing about something like this is we can kind of like, I can kind of bring old friends and stuff together. Mm. How you been, man? Like I know we talked on off cam, but like how's how's yeah. life going for Dude, you? It's been good. We just talked for probably forty five <laughs> minutes straight. Yeah, basically. <laughs> Pretty much had our own little podcast. Yeah. But it's been good, man. I miss you. I miss you too, man. It's for those who don't know. Uh, me and Clint went to high school. We met in high school, freshman year yep. at Riverdale. We played baseball together, and we hung out all of high school, and then years after, and I guess we'll call it college, even though you didn't yeah. go the whole four years. <laughs> but hey, don't fucking diss me on you now. <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> what this just turn into? But no, college years. There you go. But yeah. yeah. So Clint's a good friend of mine. Just to preface, and then for people who know Clint. This this should be a treat, you know. You'll get to see a little side, little side of Clint. Maybe you haven't yeah. seen in a while. Hey, it's been a minute. I haven't talked to anyone in forever. Yeah. So you're you're 24, right? 24, man. 20? February 21st. Just you just, just turned, turned 24, 24. man. Yeah. It's life is man. We met when we were 14. In that 15, yeah. 15 yeah, maybe. Yeah. That's right. We met when we were 15. God, Nine years, bro. That's that's dude, insane I miss to me. High school too, man. High school was fun. High school was fun. High school. Do you remember where we used to go? We used to go and s- smoke black and mild on top of World Outreach Church. That was that was after, that was after high school. That was after high school. Oh wait, yeah, that was after. High but <laughs> still, <laughs> either way, we smoked black and mild on top of World Outreach. Dude, Church. I, I forgot about that. I forgot about that honestly. Yeah. <laughs> that was a. It was time. basically where we could find places to go and smoke black and mild. Yes, and, and swishers. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I don't even smoke anymore. Nothing anymore. You don't? No, I just right, drink. Dude. Well, you know, I never. Like, yeah, I did smoke weed, but yeah, I, I hate. Uh, get a little closer to the mic. Oh, I'm sorry. No, you're good. But yeah, dude, I, I'm. I'm you don't kind, smoke weed or anything? I'm, no, I'm sort How of. How long's it been? Like eight, nine months. A while. It's been a while. I'm yeah. sort of back to my old ways in a way, if you know what I'm saying. Because you remember I used yeah. to be oh, very yeah, straight dude. edge. Oh, that was prime Timberlake. But there. yeah, I mean, I drink beer. Or, uh i drink coffee that's about coffee? it man um hey, yeah substitute. uh no nah, dude you know how i had a horrible yeah horrible time that's food. fine we started making me feel like that too it started make giving me really bad anxiety like mm. super bad anxiety Yeah, me too and i had a i don't even know what you would call it but just a horrible experience a bad <laughs> yeah a bad experience dude, um the funny the funniest thing about that night though which we were at the y'all's house well, Which it was I Rachel's think it was before, house. Right? Yeah, before y'all it moved was, in, it was at Rachel's. Yeah. At Rachel's house. And, uh, dude, I remember just like, well, the first, we had like four blunts going around in a circle. I wasn't there. You weren't? No. Oh, God. Well, this, okay, we had we had like four blunts going around in a circle. Yeah. And, I was, and Parker and all of them, they were like, dude, you gotta, you gotta just smoke it. Like, I want, I'd love to see what you're on, whatever. I was like, all right, dude. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna get as high as I can. I was at first, I was like, all right, you know, nothing can go wrong if I yeah. smoke too much, right? And they're like, no, yeah. dude. It's like, okay, well, fuck it. Smoke, just just hitting them, inhaling them as much as I can, dude. And just another one comes. And around. that was your literal first <laughs> time. First time ever. <laughs> and dude, I remember it just all hit me at once, and like it sounded, all right. <laughs> It sounded like a... Uh, That's crazy that you still like a, remember this in detail. Yeah. Oh, dude. It's like my worst <laughs> feeling ever. Like, well, at first it wasn't bad, but... Yeah. I was just scared the whole time. Yeah, exactly. But, uh, Anxious. Dude, it sounded like a, like, you know, a laugh track in an audience. Yes. Like when someone, like the whole crowd's laughing. Like that 70s That's what show, I heard yeah. in my fucking head. Like everyone started laughing and it was like, oh my God. And I started cracking up too. And it just kept... But then it just, dude, it got worse and worse. 
And then I remember we got in somebody's car and we were going to McDonald's for some fucking reason. Because <laughs> you were high. Yeah. So <laughs> we went to McDonald's. <laughs> and Dalton Messenger, dude, <laughs> we were, me and him were sitting in the back seat. And he was like, he looks at me and he's like, hey, Clint, let me see you outside the car for a minute. I was like, what the fuck is going on? Why? I was like, dude, Dalton, what's going on? So I was like scared to get out of the car, but I opened yeah. the door and I was like, no, nah, I'm not getting out of the car. And I closed the door. I never got out. <laughs> <laughs> and he got back in. What and did never he... said another word about it. And I'm still fucking confused to this day about what have the you fuck seen he's going to say to have me. Have you seen him since then? Surely you have. Yeah, I mean, we have. <laughs> Wait, I think we talked about maybe the next day. And we're like, he's like, oh, dude, I don't fucking know. But <laughs> dude. Dude. <laughs> this shit was wild, man. And dude, I still have bad anxiety from it. Yeah. Like the whole weed smoking thing. I don't know. Yeah, I don't. I don't smoke anymore. I did for uh, probably two years. Really? Yeah, probably two years, damn near every day. I don't know. I used to just be able to take it, handle it. I loved weed. Mm-hmm. I loved it. Like yeah. I could. Oh, dude, I remember, man. I could handle it, you know. Yeah, and, and before like, that, like you were, you were totally against. Yeah, doing drinking. I didn't like do nothing. Anything. I didn't do anything, but yeah, I got into it, and then I don't know. I just don't anymore. Which it's, was awesome because we were all like big on drinking at that point. Yeah, we were all just getting trashed. Y'all every needed a, and you were just driving us. Y'all like, needed a sober person because, yeah. dude, y'all. <laughs> like in Florida, bro. Oh my god, Clint. <laughs> I should, probably shouldn't have brought that one up. Man, I was so so, <laughs> bro. If I wouldn't have, if I was would have been drunk as shit running around with y'all, dude, it would have been bad. Do you know who hit me up the other day though? One of the Caleb Georgia Freeman. people. <laughs> <What? Caleb Freeman. laughs> like right after the tornado in Nashville, he uh, he messaged me on Instagram and was like, "Stay safe, my brother," or something. I don't know, bro. I was like, "Appreciate it, dude," but I don't live in Nashville and yeah, uh, I didn't even know the storms were happening. Yeah, I didn't either, bro. I just woke up and like everyone was like, "Yeah, there's a tornado in Nashville," yeah, and same. I saw it on Twitter. But the actually, you know, Germantown is like got hit real bad. Oh, okay. Yeah, and which I is was, technically still Davidson County, though, right? Uh, I'm not sure. I think it is. But. It probably is. But, like, the jobs, the job site I was supposed to be on was, like, right where in Germantown. So, it got destroyed. And I was supposed to be there the next day. And I went over there, and, dude, it was just trash. Ravaged. Like, that O'Reilly's and AutoZone across the street, they were just torn down completely. But That's, man, that's so scary because it's so close to home, you yeah. know? and. Crazy, yeah, that, it's that's crazy. <clears throat> it's wild. I mean, what it, it was kind of like it made sense because it was hot, cold, hot, cold for weeks and weeks. Yeah. It's been a weird winter, too. It, we hadn't even really had a winter. Oh, yeah, I don't no. think it got below freezing more than a couple days in a row. No, I mean, <laughs> when is it? It's not, it snowed one day when we weren't even expecting it yeah, to snow. Yeah, it snowed, and then, it definitely did that. But you remember every time it snowed during high school and stuff, we were like. All right, let's go out to Josh's house. Yeah. <laughs> We're going sledding, dude. Man. No, but... So, back to Florida. Yes, pl- man. <laughs> I don't even know where to begin with that, man. That was so poorly put together. <laughs> it was so unorganized. We weren't eating, like, no. <laughs> at all. We were eating it. Wasn't there... Was there a CeCe's Pizza down there? We there, ate... We there ate some it. kind of... Pizza. No, we did do that. Yeah. We went to... CC's Pizza, like the first day or two. Yeah. I can't remember, but. Who all was there? Man, uh, I, it was like. It was me, you, Rachel, PJ. PJ, uh, and Maggie, his Maggie. girlfriend. Uh, also, actually, I probably shouldn't bring this up. <laughs> yeah, don't do uh, that. Yeah, let's, uh, <laughs> I'll just skip that. <laughs> um, but the PJ, Cheeto incident. You remember the when I knocked over that, uh, that big tub of Cheetos? Oh, the puffs? The yeah, little the Cheeto, puff the balls, balls on the bed? Yes. And, dude, she bitched me out, dude. She went Bro, nuts. Listen, viewers. And then from then on, I hated her, and I kind of want to bring up what I was about to bring up, but I probably won't. Yeah, don't but, do that. Yeah. Um, Listen, viewers. Because of uh, my, my buddy Slightly over here. <laughs> Listen, viewers. We were trying to fit eight people in a three-person be- three person hotel room. Three-person? I mean, it was two. It was, like a, it was a two. Was, like a, was it a one? Was there one bed? Look, no, there was. There was look, the the first one. hotel. Remember, we yeah. had to move and then <laughs> park. It. Listen, we got to the hotel. It was two twin size beds, <laughs> and we had eight people. Oh my God. Maybe more. I, I don't even know. But and then Parker didn't book it for the full trip, so yeah, we we, had to, we had to do another hotel. And Parker did. Parker only had it for one night. 
So we cut the trip a day sh- short. We yeah. were like, dude, fuck this. Yes, bro. We left early because okay. remember the Executive Inn? That was the last hotel. Yeah. It was like a one star hotel. Yeah. And that was the second one. Yeah, and their TVs were the nicest thing about that. <laughs> and dude, I remember I re- we all slept on the floor. Dude, I was actually thinking about this the other day. And I remember we came in drunk. It was probably like 2 a.m. And we saw this dude in the hallway with like his eyes were like white, both eyes were solid white. And he stared at me in the eye. I remember I had a video of it. Like, <laughs> I don't know if I was just taking a video or something, but I was like, dude, this guy looked at me in the eyes. Bro. But also, the fight between you and Parker. <sighs> dude. I mean, it was more of an <laughs> argument. That was the funniest thing It wasn't ever. really like a fight. I don't think we can bring up the details of it. Like, I of what? I remember we were bitching. Do you remember Eddie. the reason? Do you remember the reason of the fight? Cause he was, or no, he was he was super drunk. But what what he was saying, like calling me a bitch or something. No, like. Oh. Yeah. I mean, I don't know if that should be brought up. I I don't know. She did just have a kid, so. Uh, I, I'm yeah. out of the loop. Uh, you don't know that. No, nah, I didn't know that. Okay, we're we're probably keeping information. Uh, <laughs> probably doesn't look good. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, I don't. We didn't really get in a fight. We were just... Well, yeah, bi- was, I was just... It, y'all were just I was fucking with him and too much. And I have much. a great video of that. <laughs> and I would... <laughs> it'd be sweet if you'd pull it up on the screen. Dude, right I used to have vi- though, some videos of Park... That... From that. But I deleted them a long time ago. Really? And I was just like <laughs> bitching him out. Dude, I just remember... Yeah, that was... This is when you were sober though. Like, Yeah, I was just fucking with him so too much. So you were much. just fucking with him pretty much. Like way too hard. You're like, Parker, I'm about to beat your ass. <laughs> <laughs> but obviously I wasn't. <laughs> obviously I wasn't. <laughs> but yeah, I I remember those that that Dude, fucking that was great, man. absolute insane time. And of course I was the drunkest I've ever been in my life. I was definitely. And it was probably the third or fourth time I've ever been drunk ever. I was definitely out of pocket. But we did meet but some I great was, friends. All um, Hannah Roundtree, Caleb Freeman, the Georgia people, uh, Justin Fernander. Yeah, isn't that crazy how um, how Chris we... knew? <laughs> yeah, isn't that crazy how we still remember their names? Yeah, yeah, like we went down there, we met people that were around the same age as us, and they were staying at like the same time, mm-hmm. kind of. Yeah. But dude, I will never forget that night where you got jumped. Oh my god! That man. that was like that could have been a movie, bro. For oh, real. Yeah. Well, no, it could have started the night before. Because I deserved everything that came to me. You remember how drunk sure. I was? Sure, yeah, you were talking running. shit to everyone. Apparently, I went out 100 yards in the ocean at like 3 a.m. Bro. And I had to get rescued. <laughs> yeah, oh, my God. Yes, dude. It was... Um, oh, my gosh, man. I wish I could just... But dude, I just need a GoPro strapped to me at all times. Literally, just, bro, that... Because <laughs> when Josh beat the shit out of that dude, <laughs> me and Eric just stood there and just watched. Well, I feel like I need to tell the story now. I mean... Should I? Go ahead, yeah. Okay. Go ahead. So, the first night, well, I don't know if it was the first night or not, but one of the nights I just got completely hammered. Like, probably third time drinking ever. Just, I downed a f- handle of Fireball by myself. True. Just got tore up and went out on the beach and did stupid stuff. But the next night I was like, all right, I'm staying sober tonight and for the rest of the trip. And I don't the- I don't want any, anything to do with this, so I'm just going to take care of everybody. Lupus gets hammered hammered trash he's on the beach in a beach chair falls asleep he's just knocked out in this chair and uh i'm not everybody's like all right well we're just gonna go up to the room we're yeah. gonna take the cooler we're gonna take night. all our stuff upstairs whatever it's like all right well i'll just wait for lupus to wake up so i'm sitting in a chair beside him immediately after everyone leaves he wakes up <laughs> acting a and fool. it was just you and him yeah just me and him and there was there was a bunch of people on the beach yeah and Dr- he doing the same thing, bunch of clusters and yeah, groups just of clusters people. Clusters of groups of people, yeah. basically. He immediately turns around to this big group of guys and just starts flicking them off, talking shit. <laughs> you guys are pussies. We were freshly, <laughs> we were all freshly eighteen. <laughs> yeah, he's just just talking shit, just being drunk, lupus man, and goes over to him, and he's just keeping on going. And I walk over, I'm like, hey, he's drunk, like. We're going to walk Cut back him to some our, slack. Yeah, he's hammered, man. He just woke up. Like, we're going to walk him back to the hotel. Like, it's all good. 
I shake a couple of their hands. I'm like, hey, we're cool here. He's yeah. like, yeah, dude, we're fine. So I'm like, all right. He backpedals, just walking backwards on the beach, looking at them, flicking them Lupus. off. And I'm like, dude, Lupus, turn around, man. Stop. Like, what are you doing? Like, it's just both of us. <laughs> There's like eight of them. What are you doing? I still to this day don't know who. Uh, keep going, keep going. <laughs> so, like, I finally get him turned around, and we start walking, dude. And then all of a sudden, all of them are on us. Probably probably six or seven dudes. And Lupus walks up to one of them, immediately just <clears throat> dropped. <laughs> like, it's, dude, the hardest punch I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> I swear to Bro, God. Bro, this fucking <laughs> story, I've heard it so many Dude, times, but like he gets dropped and just falls back in the sand. He looks like he looks like he's dead. And I'm like, oh like I see it. I'm like, holy fuck. All right. Well, uh Who wants to I walk up to the guy and I'm like, that was kind of fucked up. <laughs> like that was my boy. Like I told you we were drunk. I thought we were cool. And then I get blindsided from the side. Dude, I get hit once. I'm like, motherfucker, hit again. I go down to my knees and all I can think about is, all right, I'm in Florida. Yeah. I have, I brought like $300, $400 yeah, cash, cash. <laughs> and it's in my wallet. Yeah. So I'm just going to grab my wallet and hold on to it. <laughs> and uh, I'm just going to take this ass beating. So I get oh. kicked in the face like two or three times. I'm laying in the sand and I hear one guy go like, dude, stop, stop. And yeah. you know, when like, right. When you're some... in a group of people and someone's yelling, stop, it's probably pretty bad. Yeah. Like, yo, like, okay, you you did it. They they know, okay, you got them. <laughs> yeah. You know, like, you got them. <laughs> yeah. You can stop now. So I'm like, so, I, like, after that happened, I was like, Lupus, get up and go. And he just takes off sprinting, and I just run after him, and we just, we got away. But So we get to the hotel room. <laughs> I'm bleeding all over my face, and Lupus is still drunk as shit, and he's like, dude, I'm going out there, whatever. I'm like, no, you're fucking not. Just stay here. <laughs> And Josh and Eric end up going down, and I, they found two guys on the beach that, which I don't know a whole bro, lot about that. I mean, I so, know I've heard it, but like, all right, all which it could have the two guys that they found might not even been with the group. They look, just I was their there ass with no them. Reason. Oh, you were? Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, bro, all, all the while you guys were getting into that, I was with Caleb and them because Caleb was shitty, and me, Caleb, Caleb. the Caleb, oh, the yeah, black yeah, dude. Caleb, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. I was with him because he was so fucking sloppy. I was like helping him. Caleb was? Yes. <laughs> I was like helping him walk and me and Justin or me and Justin were like holding him up, like walking him up to the hotel. Mm -hmm. I almost got, I almost low key got like not arrested, but like the hotel manager was like, get the fuck out of here. Oh, like yeah. he was like, Dude, you don't. I think I, and I was on, I, I was on the reason. second story. Like, all right. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like just sitting outside and they were all like drunk and like, mm -hmm. he was like, what the fuck are you guys doing? He was like, if you're if you're not staying here, you need to fucking leave. I'm calling the cops. Dude, I don't know. I was why like, I remember that so personally. I don't even think I was there. I was like, I, I, I was like, dude. I was and I was wasn't with anyone. Like mm. I wasn't with any other people. Yeah. Like our people. And I was like, look, man. I, I was like, I'll leave. I'll leave. And then like I went back to the hotel and like your lip was fat. Mm. And Josh was like, fuck that. And like he was like, we gotta go find him. Yeah. So me, Josh, and Eric, barefoot. We were just walking around barefoot everywhere. <laughs> I remember that. I think I was trying to keep Lupus in the hotel room. I <laughs> yes, y'all were. I work. think that's all I was trying to do. At that so point. we get back, and I was like, guys, look, listen to what happened. And you were like, no, look at my fucking, like, <laughs> you were like, Lupus just got me jumped. Like, <laughs> and then we went back, found this group of dudes. Bro, to this day, I don't know what the dudes looked like who <laughs> knocked you out. No, dude, I don't either. Josh beat the fuck out of somebody. Yeah, somebody got there. It could have not been for the reason and, that he wanted to, but... And, what's crazy uh, he got his anger out like so. yeah exactly what's crazy about that is like we there was three dudes and there was me josh and eric we yeah. walked up i'm not a fighter you know but like if some shit would have happened i would have i wouldn't have just ran away yeah, but like yeah. i wasn't coming up you were there. throwing some kind of punch yeah you were if, throwing something if in there. if it came to that yes yeah. but like the thing is is josh came up and was like what happened and then this dude was like bragging and josh was just like looked at me, looked at Eric and just <laughs> <laughs> knocked this dude and just started whooping him. Yeah. And then all the all of his friends, there's like six friends and they're all just like watching mm. and me and Eric were like <laughs> Okay. And then one dude like tried like stepped toward Josh and Eric just went <clears throat> mm. one time and his hat fell. Yeah, the and then, hat story. And then Eric voice. and then Eric threw his hat and it hit him in the face. <laughs> and then we just walked away and nobody they didn't chase after us. Mm -hmm. Dude, that's an Eric move right there. Bro. Where he picks the hat back up after it <laughs> fell and throws it and it hits the guy right in the nose. Dude, and 
We just turned around and walked away, dude. They didn't say, they weren't, they didn't, they were silent. They they could have fucking jumped all of us. Mm-hmm. All three of us, you know? Yeah. There was like five, there's a group of, they were outnumbered us. And then, bro, that was the one of the craziest nights of my life, dude. My mm-hmm. mom would have been pissed, <laughs> you know? <laughs> I dude. think I did tell my mom that story, dude, actually. I've, I did too, because, you know, once you're... Freshly 18. Like, yeah, once you're... You get cold enough with their parents after you're like 20 or so. You're like, all right, like, I'm just going to tell you these stories. They're funny and I need to tell somebody. <laughs> Man, I, I haven't thought about that trip in so long, bro. I feel like I need Literally. to tell bef- the night before that, though, to see how I deserved the ass beating that I got. All right, go ahead. I can because kind of remember. I remember getting a handle of Fireball, just chugging it in probably 20 minutes, like just downing Fireball. Yeah. And then just all I remember is a group of like older, old, like older couples and <laughs> yes. stuff, and just going up to them and saying just wild I, I shit would, to them. Like, okay, <laughs> you you can say what you want, but I re- I remember you can think of some uh, really out of pocket things. <laughs> Clint said it. We'll let you use your imagination. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead and comment down below. Yeah, what comment down below. <laughs> what do you think I said to these older couples? <laughs> <laughs> um yeah clint was acting in an ass we yeah. literally could not contain him no it was it like, was over and by the way the third time i've drank in my life yeah so, yeah like this was it was I'm i try- was done for handle a fireball before that i was drinking five beers and getting yeah, hammered yeah and absolutely just plastered but <laughs> so after that <laughs> I'll, I'm going off stories that people have told me because i don't remember any of this yeah i know so, you blacked out like, but no josh I, has told me this story many times and rachel and all of them so apparently, I guess I just took off to the beach. Yes, dude. And shorts and t-shirt. Yeah. Like shorts and t-shirt. Ha- probably a hat on. Yeah. Just running <laughs> in the water. Yeah, just going off into the water at like two a.m. <laughs> I, apparently, I went out like a hundred yards. And just I mean, like that's. I, mean, I wouldn't I say don't know, I was a, whole, a I was while. Hundred yards. Like, like I mean, I'm, I'm talking like chest probably. Yeah. If you've been to the beach, <laughs> like probably like yeah. maybe to the like chin. You're, a good you're, four or five feet. You're yeah. Swimming to stay above. Yes. Probably. But pitch black. I don't know. But apparently Rachel swam out there and grabbed me and pulled me back she in. She did. And she was smacking your ass. Yeah, like, and then uh the, the old infamous PJ video of him just smacking. <laughs> oh my God. Do you have that? <laughs> I don't, but somebody Bro, does. It's out there. PJ it's gotta be. You deserve that. Yeah. And you I, know, dude, I wish we could add these videos. Like we can, I don't have them, but I can compile somebody, them. You need to find these videos and put them <laughs> right now and just... Clint, shut the fuck up! <laughs> Smack. Smack me. Didn't feel shit. <laughs> Your eyes might have been closed. <laughs> oh, remember... Bro, I used to have this picture of you burying yourself in the sand that night, too. <laughs> Hell, I don't... I have no clue. But, man, But if we're going to add these, we got to add the videos of you and Parker shit I, talking. That's fine. I can't even... And the video of you uh, rapping with uh, Caleb. Caleb. Man, that was, that was a, a good video. That too. was a. And I think I had that one. And I have, dude, I had the video of you and Parker shit talking. Like, it's like a 15 minute video. And y'all <laughs> are just going at it. And he's like. We just kept calling each other a bitch. <laughs> like, you're a bitch. <laughs> like, I don't really remember what we were bitching at each other about. But I, mean, I was like, shut I the do, fuck up. I do, but I was I like, don't need to say it. Right I was now. like, shut the fuck up, Parker. I might incriminate a uh, mom and a uh, husband. <laughs> <laughs> oh man uh, but anyway so after the swimming story in the ocean at 2 a.m i go out in the sand or no no no. i go back i think we went back to the hotel i'm pretty sure we tried to we were trying to and get y'all were you. trying to get me just to go to bed <laughs> and i ran out the oh door, yeah we were like ran, oh my god across, across the street this busy ass road Without looking at I all, I forgot we lost across. you, bro. We gave up on you, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's we, what Josh was saying. He was, he was like, dude, I just gave up. Like, I had, I just Clint, had to go back. Literally, bro. I remember we had like a meeting. Like me, <laughs> Rachel, Anna, Josh. We all got in Anna's car and we were like, we can't. Like, I was like, if Clint, like, we give up. We Speaking were looking li- at. Do you remember what Anna was drinking that night? The nah, skull. In the oh, the tequila. <laughs> tequila, yeah. Which oh I, my that's God. the first time and the last time I've ever seen it. Yeah, I know, anymore. right? Dude, where <laughs> where the how the fuck was we were getting alcohol? Where y'all getting alcohol? Who Somebody had a fake? had to have a fake. I think Rachel might have. She might have had her sister's fake. Yeah, or Anna, either one of them. Yes, I remember the skull yeah. tequila bottle. <laughs> skull wow, tequila. dude. There's no telling how much she paid for that, oh you know. Oh my god, dude. 
Especially at that age, we're probably like, oh, dude, if it's like under fifteen dollars. Yeah, wait, you paid thirty two dollars for <laughs> <Yeah>. that. <laughs> but but yes. Yeah, so where did you wake up so, the next okay. morning? <laughs> so after that, they were like, all right, dude, fuck Clint if he dies, whatever. <laughs> no, we could not know. contain like, you, dude. I, I understand. I'd have been like, dude, fuck it anyway. So okay, I wake up. All right. Well, all right. I wake up in a hot tub. And my feet, my legs are like dangling in it, like from my knees below. I'm just laying on my back on the concrete. And uh, I wake up to a pool guy that's cleaning out a pool with the, you know, the big <laughs> the basket like <laughs> rod thing. And he's like, hey, buddy, you got to go. And I'm like, this I don't know is, where, but you just got to go. <laughs> this isn't my hotel. I don't. This definitely isn't my hotel. We weren't. <laughs> Did you front. say that to him? <laughs> no. Oh. I was just like, All right, dude, whatever. All right, I'm out of here. <laughs> So, you know how they have the wooden gate to the beach? Like, it's a beachfront hotel. So, yeah. Well, I walk out on the beach, and I'm like, the pier, I see the pier, like, close up. I'm like, the pier's right here. Yeah. And I remember we were, the other day when we were just drink, like, we're hanging out, like, the pier was not nowhere close. Yeah, we were far. So, I just start walking back to the, the like, other, the other, other side. way. <laughs> like, all I know is the pier's right here, and I wasn't near the pier, so I'm going to walk this way. So I walk down the beach. I find my shirt. I'm oh, by the way, I'm in my boxers. Yeah, like I wake up in the hot tub in my boxers. Wait, like my knees you, just waiting in the water. You found your shirt, bro. Yeah, I find my shirt. I find my hat. I find my shorts, all just walking like in different spots. And um, I I get back to where I look looks familiar. I walk back up to our hotel, and I I'm covered in sand and water and just shit. Lay in bed. <laughs> I remember. Go back you, to sleep. <laughs> no, I remember waking up and being like, Clint. Or no, I think I banged on the door for a Yeah, 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 bro. Dude. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> that was literally like the hangover for you. Yeah. The oh, movie? Yeah. Like, like the movie. What, what happened here, dude? What happened last night? And then, like, oh, someone's missing a tooth. The There's a tiger in the bathroom. <laughs> yeah. That was a little, bro. Just a little less night. I want to, like, the hotel room. one day, dude, we need to, like, <laughs> Write all this shit down and make a book about it or dude, something, dude. There's so many stories, man. I wish I could just spew them uh, out. But. So, shit, man. We're almost 30 minutes into this thing. Uh, let's switch gears, man. Let's get all into, right. like... Uh, <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed that story <laughs> time. Beer, by the way? Yeah, I got you. I hope you guys enjoy that st- story time yeah. of us being <laughs> dumb kids. I feel kids. like I need it. We needed that documented in yes. anyway. Like, no, we this for is real. A perfect th- time for it. Um, what five years? That five years? That four years after? <laughs> man. Um. So, I may. I really wanted to talk about video games with you, if that's yeah, okay. Dude. Let's um, go, man. I'm all about it. Let me just start it out with this, bro. I fucking challenge you, Lupus and Parker, to get back into the streaming, bro. Dude. I challenge you guys for real. Like I am your biggest fan. Dude, for real. I'd love to, man. I talk I w- about you guys every time that literally, yeah. bro, every time somebody comes on here and talks about video games, I talk about you guys. Like I love you guys and Dude. like you guys inspired me to be on like I was like, Y'all motherfuckers are doing this <laughs> shit. You know? Yeah. You remember that one Dude. summer? Um, that summer, man, it was the greatest that and was, worst time that we've was, ever had. That was, that was the end of our childhood. That last, that summer after high school, senior year, yeah. that was like we didn't have jobs and shit. Mm-hmm. Even yeah. though my mom was I like, miss it, my dude. mom was like, you need to get a job, and like we were yeah. sleeping till one p.m. and shit, yeah. and y'all were just playing games all day. I missed that, but yeah. uh, so take me back, man. Uh, dude. Call of Duty Modern Call Warfare, Duty, like we, you know, did you you started? I don't know what game we all started. Like came together on. So was it? for the record, I was not actually playing with them. I was just chilling at Parker's house, basically. But uh, what I don't know. I'm Bo2 to think, was it? Black I Ops remember 2. Ghost was Ghost before Bo2. No, I don't. No, that was after y'all. I remember because remember in my song, I said something about Bo2. Yeah. Remember that RC response or the uh, video I made? To yeah, get that dude, that, that was cool. Yeah. That was really cool. Yeah. You use that song, but uh, dude. So I, Black Ops, I, I think started it, but no, dude. Anyway. I think it was Black Ops Two. Yeah, but I guess dude, Black Ops Two was that game, man. Yeah, dude. And Ghost, I, dude. Go, people say Ghost was terrible, but Ghost was that game, man. We had a good time. Was on there jetpacks on that? No, Ghost okay. was just straight up. What was the first jetpack game? Was uh, it uh, Infinite? Advanced, Infinite, advanced. It was Advanced Warfare. Advanced Warfare, yeah. And that and, game was kind of shit. And then Black Ops Four. Did you play Black that? Ops Four? Yeah, I think that was dude. That was probably our best time, honestly. 
Black Ops Four. That was when uh, Black Ops you... Four was like last year. Mm, maybe not then. Yeah, dude, y'all know, y'all man, started. I'm pretty ball, sure Bo Two was when y'all were doing those uh, search and destroy. Yeah, Bo Two was great, man. Um, M Four. So, just... dude, just kind of give me like what how how or how how, how important how would well yeah give me well before that but like give me how why are you always like why what's what's up with call of duty you know like why do you always why do you like call of duty so much you know dude call of duty first of all like, i started gaming completely on halo 3 halo 3 was that game most people most streamers dude, today they custom can say games that. man like forge i loved it like you know you play all those mini games and stuff it's great but I had on a buddy, three, like a random guy. Right? Yeah, 360. Yeah, I had a guy, a random guy I met, and he was like, dude, get Call of Duty 4. Like, we'll play it. Like, four. It's, it's the greatest game. Call of Duty 4. Yeah. So, Modern Warfare original. Yeah. And I was like, dude, no, I'm not getting that. And then finally, I ended up getting it. And, uh, dude, grinded it. All summer, <laughs> like sixth grade. Baseball. Grinded, Call of Duty. like, baseball. fuck baseball, dude. Like, <laughs> baseball is my love, but yeah. fuck it, dude. I'm just going to play this game all fucking day long. Summer, dude. Like, I'm not practicing. I'm just going to grind. Got 10th Prestige, did all the challenges, got Red Tiger, every gun, like, gold. <laughs> you did it. You won the <laughs> like, game. I did it. You and that's, beat the dude, that's where my addiction started. And then from then on out, dude, I met Lupus Parker. We started playing game battles. Well, actually, the game battles didn't start from there. Like, I met some guys on Call of Duty World at War, which was my favorite game ever. Well, is that right after 4? Yeah, Call of Duty 5, yep. And, uh, dude, I met some guys on there and just random people. And just a guy, from, from actually, lobbies? two guys that I met on, like, random public match lobbies and then a guy that lived down the street from me. And, dude, we grinded. Like, we played GBs where we were, like, at one time, we were, like, number one in the Call of Duty team ladder on, like, game battles. I got my GB rank down to, like, 4 or 5K. Like, That's, we were cold. Yeah. And this guy, like, his Mexican dude, Ricky Negrete, we're friends on Facebook. He's, from dude, out, he he's not nuts. from here? You never no, actually met him? He lives in him. California. Uh-huh. That's wild. Yeah. So, that's, that's beautiful, honestly. Dude, yeah. He was nuts. That's, like, that's crazy. Dude, he was so best Call of Duty player I've ever seen. He got his GB rank down to, like, 200 or something like shit. that. Holy shit. So yeah. so it's like golf. The lower the score, the better. Like yeah, you want to yeah, be number yeah. one. Mm-hmm. So like after that, like we broke up, like all of our team, and then I guess probably probably when I met Lupus and Parker, because I met both of them freshman year of high school. You know what's crazy and about all of y'all? You and you, <clears throat> the fact you Parker and Lupus were like close and did the game thing. Y'all all came from different middle schools. Yeah, you oh, know, yeah. like y'all just kind of met in high school, and uh-huh. you were like, "Hey, we're basically we all yeah, have similar like, interests." We're gamers, man. yeah. Like let's let's get on there and grind. I but so. but for real, Clint, man, I I challenge you. Like I don't know if Lupus is gonna end up watching this, mm-hmm. but dude, I fucking challenge you guys to get back on Twitch and YouTube. Dude, the only thing I that set us the only thing that sets us apart at this point is just work time. Yeah. Like, what time people for work. For sure, man. And Lupus works night, so, you know, but he gets like, off at 11 during the week and 2 a.m. on Friday. Yeah, no, dude, I feel you, but, like, even if, like, you could start out small, man, like, make be like, all right, boys, Saturday nights or, you know, Sunday afternoons, let's do, like, a three-hour stream, yep. you know? Like, and then post that on all y'all's Twitches, you know, mm-hmm. and then get a little YouTube channel post like you know how like oh, yeah, the if Fortnite get... guys they'll like post one really good game that they have yeah. and then like get you like man i just because like you guys that's we i remember all the conversations we used to have like what what if we actually yeah. could make it with this you dude, know i wish we would have started back then because how big of it how big it is now like i know well y'all did though that's the thing well parker was yeah. streaming dude the thing is the internet man mm-hmm. my f- I have shitty internet. At your dad's? Which I have good internet, but it's not streaming internet. Yeah, yeah. You know? And I can't get it to work out to where I can actually, yeah. you know, do something. I feel something. that, man. I feel that. But, but look, man. Man, just, it's just the time schedules, man, and people yeah, working. I feel, dude, I, oh, dude, I feel. Dude, it sucks. It's growing up. I relate to that dude. so much, Clint, because, like, <laughs> bro, what? when did you text me? Like, months ago, two months yeah. ago, probably, and then, mm-hmm. like, I texted you, like, last weekend, it didn't happen, and then, like, yeah. it's just, like, I'm, that's why I said at the beginning, like, I really appreciate you coming in, man, because, oh, yeah, like, dude. it's a, you know, it's a Saturday night. Dude, we're just talking. I mean, yeah, shit, I know, dude. but, like, like some, if, I mean, we haven't hung out in forever, so we have a lot to talk about, yeah, obviously, but. Yeah, exactly, man, and, like, 
it's just like exactly like you keep saying man time just trying to get people's schedules but like think about but just like keep like thinking about like how dope it would be if we were able like me making a living off streaming and like uh me and connor we just talked about this today i was like dude if if i had my pay and my work schedule like if i was like able to get $15 Fifteen dollars an hour to wake up at six a.m. and do this all oh, day yeah, till eight or till three mm-hmm. o'clock. I would do it, bro. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. I and would be good at it too. If you had enough people supporting you, where they would just donate to you, dude. Exactly. You know, I mean, I have a, a donation link on my uh, Apple Podcasts mm-hmm. thing, but I mean, you know, it's I have dude, it. That's, it's time, man. It's exactly. Just, you got to get lucky, and you gotta you gotta put the work in, dude. You gotta keep mm-hmm. putting out videos that are the same interesting. Or, that every week, like, you know, mm-hmm. where people are wanting to come back and watch. I mean, dude, think about... Think like, somebody sees it that are, is bigger than you, then yeah. they put their their stuff They're, involved in it. They that, give man. you some clout, and then yeah. you're, you're in there. But, like, yeah, think clout, about... clout, baby. Get that clout. <laughs> think about somebody... Get to the bag, boy. Think, think about, uh, like, FaZe Banks. Oh, yeah, dude. And, like, him and Temper, bro. Mm-hmm. Fucking, they've been doing this shit for 10 years, man. Yeah. At a high level, and old temper, they, they, old temper stole the uh, stole face clan from a guy. Really, I did you not know, know that. that. No, I didn't actually. <laughs> yeah, dude, he fucking. <laughs> which I don't know the full. Story. That's hard. Yeah, that's cool as fuck, <laughs> dude. He like straight up stole it from a dude. He's like, oh, fuck well, with that. I mean, he didn't. It was a guy in his clan, but like he kind of like. That's wild. I don't know. I don't know the full story. Yeah. I've I've watched it before, but he kind of he kind of stole. Well, it. Like, he wasn't the creator. Of him it. and him and Banks. We're like the founders, though, right? They technically sort of. like are now, but yeah. the founder was really like a couple other guys that mm. really aren't into it well, anymore. But think about they're like the two biggest guys in Face yeah. Clan. Think about them now, dude. They don't game anymore. Dude, they don't do anything. They, they don't post they, content. They're they celebrities do now, dude. They own this gaming organization, they're which seat. does so many things. Exactly, and they're getting money. They don't need to do anything, dude. They're gaming. Banks I mean, they're, is like, uh, uh, he's like. He's like Mark Cuban but of the Mavericks. Banks for dude, I don't know. It's like a Adam, I don't know how what you would call it, but Banks can stop YouTube for like months and months and then post a video and get the same amount of views as he was yeah. getting before he stopped. Exactly. For some reason, it's just like, just Ooh, Banks, ba- dude. Banks made a video. Banks. Banks made a video. Yeah, I don't uh, know why. There's this uh channel youtuber Which, I dude, like, I don't, you knew this before like I stay on YouTube like Yeah, me too. Yeah. Bro. Dude, I yeah. I love fucking YouTube and all mm. like Hayden Beans, like all them. They know I just grind YouTube. Yeah, dude, me too. <laughs> it's fucking YouTube is beautiful, bro. That's it why is. I've been grinding this YouTube shit out. Yeah. I've got ninety subscribers, man, and like once you, I, I said this in a, a podcast I did a couple weeks ago. Like YouTube is once you have a lot of views mm-hmm. on a video or a lot of subscribers, it's so much easier to get way more. You know, does that make oh, sense? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that. Would you be mad at me? I went piss real quick. No, man, you're good. Dude, no, I'm sorry. No, you're fine, bro. I, I can, I edit all this shit. Okay, cool. I'm sorry. I'm Bud Light. I want you to be comfortable, man. <laughs> the platties. Hey, 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 hey. Back in this? All right, yeah, we back in here. I could, I, I edit all this shit, so we're good. Right, cool. uh, like, I'll, I'll make it look like you never even got up. Um, uh, but yeah, dude. So, uh, currently, what's your video games that you get? You know, give me all the, give me all the specifications. Okay. What's your graphics okay. card? All that yeah, kind of yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, actually, Beans, Beans and Hayden. You know, Bean, uh, saw, Ben Slayton. You know him? Hold on, sidebar. Yeah, yeah, I do know Beans. I went to school with him mm. for yeah, yeah, for yeah, a okay. year. But uh, um. I saw Hayden at First Watch about a month or two that ago. Place, uh, you don't like First dude, Watch? Fuck that place. I love First Watch. God, Every dude, I hate I, I hate places that like health. I hate healthy places. Really, dude. I hate I really it. liked. Uh, it drives me nuts. I lo- everything there's so fresh. That's you're the first person really? I've ever met that doesn't like it. Dude, I've eaten there before and I've had something that was okay. I feel but, you. I mean, I feel it, it. dude, it's I hate places I usually, that try to be healthy. Like, so I much. uh. I got a every time I go, I get that turkey and avocado sandwich, man, mm. and it fills me the dude. Fuck I love up. avocado though. I got a big fan of avocado. Look, man, if you ever go, get that turkey avocado. But uh, mm-hmm. so yeah, I saw Hayden the other day. I was like, hey, I was like, what's up, dude? I was like, I haven't seen you in a calendar two years probably. <laughs> 
But uh, so yeah, you play with Beans yeah. and Hayden. Dude, Hayden. I know you were streaming one day and Hayden was on your game. Y'all were playing some random ass game. What the what fuck? What? Bro, I don't even know. What it look like? It was like, uh, it looked like a. Dude, that's the thing about PC, man. Like. There's, so, There's many. so many free games Dude. and like games that you can buy for like two dollars. We're playing like like some any sur- game. It was like some survival game. Really? It wasn't. It wasn't Tarkov. It Tarkov. wasn't that. Or it wasn't. Which I don't like Tarkov that much. Uh, uh, all right, but yeah. So y'all play together. What's what's the yeah, deal? Yeah, dude. Currently. All right. So Hayden and Beans got the PC first, and dude, they just started putting it in our ear. Like, okay, I had to play. All right, I had a PlayStation. Okay. And I mean, right. Parker and Lupus played Faithful, forever. PlayStation, faithfully. PlayStation was the game. Yeah. PlayStation is what MLG played on. Like, we followed MLG by Nick, the book. Nick we bought everything they had. Astros, Scuffs, whatever. Mm-hmm. So, Hayden, Beans, and all them got an Xbox. They had Xboxes forever. Yeah. So, I was like, all right, I'm buy Xbox One. Bought an Xbox One, played with them on Fortnite for a while, and then I still played on PlayStation. And then they moved to PC, and they were like, dude, you got to go on PC. So I was like, fuck it. All right, Beans got a Beans bought a PC from a guy that he knows that builds them and stuff for $1600. That's so pretty I like, good. I know that you name it. It like you the oh, more dude, you can it's go like a hot, you can yeah, 10 10k. It's easy. like a car. Like you, yeah. Like so I bought the same exact PC Beans had. So we like I was like, all right, I'm all in. I got my tax turned back one year. I was like, fuck hey, free money fuck right it. here. <laughs> so I got one. And uh, so we we started playing. Then Matt Holm, maybe Matt Holm might have been before me. He never got an actual PC. He plays on his Mac. And apparently, what? there's some website that he goes on and he, Dude, whatever. Dude, that's gonna it. fry his MacBook. Yeah, but there's all right. Fuck, I don't want to get into this, but there's some kind of website out there that like will make it to where it doesn't. This use is what I understand from it that you have they like have pre-built PCs. Maybe somewhere that like you can tune into and play on these PCs that they have, and you pay like a monthly charge for it. Okay, which is wild, but he plays it and it works fine. Okay, for him, so. I've just heard hey, that. I mean, it works. I've heard I mean, that. It sounds you, like a fucking hell of an idea, but yeah, I mean, it does. But I've heard that if you try and play on like something like yeah, this, yeah, like yeah. a MacBook Pro, it'll mm. like the fan will like <laughs> fucking go out because yeah, it's literally <laughs> it's on it's running a marathon. <laughs> yeah. But uh, yeah, man, keep going. <laughs> anyway, so all right. So us four on there, me, Matt, Holman, Hayden, Beans. And what were and y'all playing initially? And I was like, initially? hey, Lupus, you got to get this PC, dude. It's amazing. Like, it, Which it is, dude. It's fucking, it's did you sell? Did you sell your Xbox. PlayStation? You nope, still, still have PlayStation, dude, still have Xbox. Still all all, all you gamers out there, don't sell, just stockpile them. I still yeah, got a yeah. PS3. Dude, I still have PS2, fucking yeah. Nintendo 64, dude. Great, uh, great I, system. I work, one of my buddies at work, he's, uh, he's like in his 30s, I guess. He collects like old vintage things and like he's got like a room kind of like this that he like he's got like old like star wars toys and like that kind of stuff and uh-huh. he's got every g- sega dreamcast a uh-huh. gamecube dude, game awesome. boys like he's got all those cool well, dude, are you shit. into um lyrical lemonade at all hell yeah i love dude, cole dude, bennett cole bennett's the man he, i look up to do you have you seen his new well, warehouse no uh, but you know he has that i don't know he's talked about it in multiple interviews where he has a room in his house where it's basically the like nostalgia a nostalgia room. Yeah, nostalgia room where he has like Nintendo sixty four yeah. like posters. Yeah, that's old stuff. So... Dude, that's awesome, man. Dude. And his music videos are awesome. Oh fuck yeah. And that Godzilla video where he dropped with Eminem not too long yeah, ago. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. He dude. uh dude, go go on his uh he has a second YouTube channel, Lyrical Lemonade Two. Mm-hmm. Bro, he has a warehouse. It's like an office for, you know, all mm-hmm. of his team. Bro. It is fucking massive. Really? Dang, massive dude. like it's so we can watch it after this bro he's it's, from he's from right outside detroit ain't he or no not uh, detroit, he's from illinois uh, he's like chicago yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. i love cole bennett yeah, man. Dude, he's, he's, cool, he's man. awesome i saw him on nardwar and uh he uh that godzilla video has 40 million views dude, in, in four like, days yes, dude. <laughs> holy fuck and dude i've been on an eminem kick here yeah. recently, dude. I, new, you could say i'm a stan boy uh, you know he invented that right who yeah eminem from stan, stan. he made a like, song he, co- like when he, someone, every time someone says I'm a stan of them, I'm like Eminem. You're, Eminem created stan. You know, like, he, you know. <laughs> my tears go Like someone that's a big fan of Eminem is a stan, and he created stan. <laughs> like I don't know, it's crazy. It's like an entendre. I love. It's like a double yeah. entendre in itself, <laughs> dude. 
Yeah. Oh, I'll, dude, I stay watching uh, reaction videos. You watching your reaction videos? Sort of. Like so, No Life Shack or... Uh, I don't really... I'm not really into them, but uh, Mylena, my girlfriend, mm-hmm. she uh, works with someone who's... All right, so work with me here. He's uh, a BTS, like the Korean K-pop yeah. stuff. K-pop. He loves that K-pop shit. Really? And he's got like 15,000 subscribers on YouTube. He right? reacts to them? He, mm-hmm. Yeah, and like he's a stan. He's a K-pop stan. K-pop stan. <laughs> but like, you know, he's... Yeah, dude, he's popping on YouTube. Dude, man, right? He's getting paid off of YouTube. Mm. Wow, and he lives in Murfreesboro, Nashville, I guess. Goodness, man. Oh, K-pop, man. Well, if, if you say anything bad about K-pop oh, on Twitter, bro. you're fucked. You're fucked. <laughs> you're fucked. <laughs> yeah, you done fucked up. Don't say nothing. Yeah, dude, mm. they. I don't know how that they they took control of that app, but they did. Oh man, I love those reaction videos though. That's cool. I've seen some of them. But I not, could name I could name a few that I like religiously watch. Or not religiously. I, dude, I love Eminem reaction videos because you know how like Eminem, dude, his word clever. It's so fun. clever. Like all of his songs, they have some hidden stuff in there. And you could listen to them like by yourself and you might not catch them and everything. Yeah. But you listen to them on one of these reaction channels and You're they like, break wait. it. They break these bars down. You're like, wait, pause that. Yeah. He said this? Yeah. You break these bars down, uh-huh. man. And you're like, holy, this song is 10 times better than I thought it was when I actually first yeah. listened to it. But there's the there's these two guys. There's these two dads. They're called script work. And really? they, they call them dads react. That's wild. And dude, they break every single bar down. They don't miss a bar. It's their first time listening to it. And they catch every bar. Script work. Go listen you, to it. Dude, them. have you heard Lil Wayne's? Dude, they're nuts. Lil Wayne's new albums? Uh, I heard it. Was, I listened to a few songs off his newest album. It's not Lil Wayne. The Lil Wayne we know yeah, and love. Dude, but that's he's, a, but a cu- that's the problem. Man. A couple. Just, I'm a, so s- stuck to what I. For sure. What I can remember them. Dude, honestly, man, I'm so turned off to new music, man. I'm not really turned off. Like, I love, you know me, I love music. I, mm. I've always loved music. But here lately, man, I'm kind of just like, eh, you know. I like Lil Uzi's mm. new album that just came out. It's pretty good. Dude, what about the, um, which, R.I.P. Juice World? Man, I saw him at Bonnaroo this, this past Did year, you? man. What about cool his hour long, his two hour long freestyles? Bro. Uh, <laughs> I don't, I don't remember what some radio was. station. Yeah, yeah, some radio station. Bruh. Dude, he is nuts, dude. And I was dude, I always like pictured him as a mumble rapper. He can sing. And then I listen to those mm-hmm. and I'm like, dude. No, he can rap nuts. his ass off. And I listened to the Eminem interview where he was talking to uh Crooked Crooked Eye. Have you listened to that? Mm mm. I haven't. It's a pretty good interview where he was talking to Crooked Eye. Eminem? Yeah. It got interviewed? Mm-hmm. No, I yeah. haven't seen that. It's like is you know it sort of recent? never does interviews yeah, with anybody. It, it's but sort he of did recent? one with Crooked Eye on Crooked oh, Corner. Okay. Yeah, it's I'm gonna pretty check good. that out. Yeah, uh, dude, check it out. And uh, there's also, but he he gives a shout out to um, Juice, Juice World. World and the hour long freestyle he did, and which God. is probably why he had He's him just on like, that dude, Godzilla fuck. song. Who's done that? An dude, hour nuts, man. Fam, and that, I, that brings me back to Ed Hardy, dude. <laughs> the 15 minute freestyle. I mean, Ed man, Hardy, baby. Hey, man. E D H A R D W E. Hardy boy, Bro. bitch. I'm not your I mean, yeah, dude. He definitely he inspired me, for sure. Who? To Ed Hardy, man. Ed Hardy? I mean, yeah. in a way, yeah, man. Yeah. Who brought you to Ed Hardy? Parker, right? Probably, yeah. Probably. Dude, I, remember I went to school with Drew, was Parker, Who was Parker for? Yeah, Drew. I went to school with Drew. Yeah. But, but yeah, Parker actually knew him. Yeah, I got you. One more, dude. No, you're good, man. Maybe Parker, five. Parker actually knew, uh, Appreciate it. knew Ed, though. And I, did, I never met him. Yeah. But, bro, yeah, dude. And, you know, I started rapping... 2014 which i haven't recorded any new music in about a year or so but thank dude thank how he blew up he did and like then, off a off a freestyle freestyle man he got a, like a million like, views on that video i'm pretty sure maybe two dude which was all like i hate to say it but it wasn't a freestyle no it was all written which i'm it's I'm a nowadays sure. freestyle hey, but, because that's how all freestyles are exactly, nowadays hey but, but dude i mean it's all written he didn't stumble which i mean it's hard know? to keep all that in your mind i'm sure but i mean he didn't stumble or no, like any, you know, like he had the, he like, had that shit it. down. He didn't have no yeah. pad and pen in front yeah. of. He didn't have no paper in front of him. Mm. No, te- he didn't have a teleprompter in front of him. Like he hey, was at the he Grammy. Might have. We don't know. Hey, he <laughs> might have. He might have, but I don't think he did. No, no. Uh, but what, dude, what the fuck is he doing, bro? I have no idea. Let I me, actually followed him on Instagram the other day. I'm. I was about to look him up right now. Let me Do see. It. Let me see what he's doing right now. Is it still Hardy Boy? Probably. I think it actually is. Ed Which underscore Ed underscore Hardy. Hardy. He's got twelve thousand followers. He posted February eighth, sixty two likes. 
I don't know, man. You, you got know? charge I can plug into real quick? Uh, not in here. Oh, well, fuck it. Yeah, not in in here. I do. I got like four phone charges. I need a spare one in here. Um. Well, shit, man. So, what do you think about David Dobrik, man? I love David Dobrik. Do you? What do you hey. think about him? Do you like hey, him? I like him, man. Bro, he's. I feel like a lot of his stuff is scripted. Fuck. But yeah. I can look past it. Fuck yeah. I can 100%. look percent. Which but I've heard an interview where he's like. It's All right, loosely dude, it's literally scripted. like what we do in person, but then we're like, it's oh shit, that's funny, and then let's Redo re-record it. it. Yeah. Dude, so I've been, I don't But know. like, dude, it's, man, every, everybody on the internet is so like short span, like short times. Four like, minutes. You know, yeah. expanded. So, you know, you keep, you keep somebody's attention for four minutes. Four minute video? Oh, that's nothing, dude. I can watch that all day long. Yeah, dude. And I... To be honest, so you remember the Vine days? We all knew David Dobrik from then. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. I don't know what it was in the last probably six months. I was like, I don't know, man. I just stumbled upon him, bro. I watch him every uh, day. Damn who's your near. favorite creators right now? I love David Dobrik. I'm on this David Dobrik kick. Yeah. Uh, there's another YouTuber, Casey Neistat. Have you Casey heard of Neistat, him? Yeah. Have you heard of him? Yeah. I fucking mm-hmm. love his. Vi- He's bro, his- big YouTuber. Like great. Fuck yeah. Great film work. Great. Bro, he uh, yeah. he filmed a vlog every day for 800 days straight. Goodness, man. Can you imagine that, dude? You know, who's can you imagine a- playing video games for 800 days straight? Oh no. I mean, like you love. I probably you love it. I probably do it some like. But you'll on skip some a day, level, but not like hours yeah like i probably get on for an hour maybe yeah but like, well let me you put know, it to you day. like this could you imagine streaming for five hours no. 800 days in a, <laughs> no. like that's um that's Which, not practical dude, just him taking a video for five minutes could yeah. take 12 hours exactly that's I what mean, his he's getting content and then he's editing it editing it out yeah you know bro uh so date when david dobrik <laughs> does his he'll film i've listened to like some interviews and shit he yeah, did do you watch the his podcast yeah i listened uh, to what him what was it called views views yeah, yeah. um Jason Nash is funny. Though. He is funny. I, I like his YouTube channel too. Yeah, he's a, he's a good um, guy. But David Dobrik's his process is uh he'll he says that he films like five hours mm-hmm. of shit and he'll condense it down to four minutes. Yeah, that's fucking that's crazy. crazy. Um, yeah, dude. So I'm I I really like David Dobrik right now. And what's crazy about like him is he kind of he created his own lane. That's for damn sure. Oh yeah, dude. And it's like vlogging is like the new reality TV. You know, you don't need yeah. you don't need fucking E or MTV no. anymore, VH1. Just make a YouTube channel. Yep. Yeah. And you're the director. <laughs> yeah. You can do whatever you want. Oh yeah, dude. I mean, I've I've like, it, he like he's one of the few that edits. Like, dude, he's making millions. He edits all his videos. Bro, he's filthy rich. Oh yeah, dude. He is filthy rich. Crazy. And he's twenty. What do you think about Natalie though, dude? She's, would you uh i mean i feel like her and dave i feel like <laughs> no actually fuck what's her name blonde girl right? uh carly carly yeah dude i mean dude i dm carly you did <laughs> <laughs> she ever <laughs> left you on scene she did or she i don't did? know about scene oh but she she didn't reply oh. i was like married <laughs> dude i think she's bad aaron aaron's a little uh yeah get out of here aaron i don't know i feel like they're gay but, uh, low-key um, I don't know, man. Do you watch Jeff any? His Jeff's Barbershop? Look, man, my favorite... Uh, all right, my favorite people out of the vlog squad are... I really like David and Zane and Heath. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't... Dude, I, I, I like Jeff. I'm not, dude, I'm not the biggest fan of Heath. I like Jeff a lot. Though. I like Zane more. But do you watch Zane and Heath's podcast? You should check mm-hmm. that out. It's, I mean... I used to watch it, Jeff's and, funny. Jeff and Scotty's. Yeah, I'm, they're, I'm not tapped into them as much. Mm-hmm. I've watched the Barbershop videos before it's yeah. just weird like it's crazy like think about it like each person has their own channel they're dude and they're all boom building off of each other though oh, you yeah, know that's it's beautiful if somebody that's why i'm so like i'm i'm trying to like encourage you guys like mm-hmm. you and like clint or you and lupus and parker if y'all like got back into that gamer shit you know yeah. and like like if you notice tifu he's been making vlogs lately mm-hmm. you know like What's TV, you know? Wait, speaking of TV, Bro, he's dude, I used to watch his brother forever. Juke Squad. Okay. That's his dude brother. With the dreads. Yeah. Savage. Did you know that's his at brother? Savage on yeah. Instagram? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Dude, I used wild. to watch his brother. Like, Ding Dong. You remember how Ding Dong Ditch was like a. 
in the, middle school, like, dude, we got to go. Let's go ding dong ditch. Yeah. Dude, that was a thing, man. And he, like, for from the start, I was like, you look up ding dong ditch videos on YouTube. And he's and like, was like, gilly, gilly suit ding dong ditch. <laughs> like, <laughs> dude, and, like, I've all of a sudden, those. Tifu comes out of nowhere. And I'm like, hey, let me look this guy up. Yeah. Oh, Juke Squad's his brother? That's dude, his I brother. used to watch him forever ago. That's crazy. Yeah. But, man, Tifu's killing it, man. Yeah, he is. Dude, Summit. Summit's been killing it forever. Who's that? I'm not tapping. Summit in. 1G. I don't think I know who that Dude, is. Dude, he's always at the top of the list on uh, For, Twitch. What does he play? He plays Starcop now. I mean, he plays everything. Oh. Which is like the real, th- like, you know, Tifu came off Fortnite. He wouldn't yeah. get as many viewers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Summit well, can play whenever, and he'll get the same amount of viewers as... He's like, uh, well, shit, who else is a variety streamer? You got, like, people like Courage. You like uh, Courage? XQC. You ever watch him? I haven't seen him either. Uh, I, people, courage, courage, courage. People like courage for his. Courage is on YouTube now. He's on YouTube now, really? which is oh, wild. Is? Yeah, he he's not what about even Ninja, like, dude. Ninja Ninja's fucked. He went to Mixer. I mean, he went to Mixer. He bro. probably got a bag, bro. That's what I was. Hey, <laughs> Mixer was like, help us. <laughs> yeah. We'll give you t- uh, like a dude, five million dollar advance. No doubt he got a bag, and he's not regretting it at all. But, Hell no, I but mean, he's probably getting like four or five k viewers. Not even. Like yeah, he used to get like but, 200, 100. Right, but think about that though. For a mixer though, that's a shit ton of people. Yeah, you know. Mm-hmm. But uh, well, I don't know, man. Twitch is in a weird spot right now. I feel like people. I don't know. It's what about of, Alinity? I haven't you know heard of about dude. Alinity? You are way tapped into I'm Twitch. I'm tapped in and like to everything. I'm. I love like, Twitch. Do you watch any Drama Alert with Keemstar? I like Keemstar, but he's kind of eh, to me. But I, I don't watch really him. like Keemstar as much. But I watch him. I'll to check get in. the news and like. Yeah, uh, I'll check in. There's another guy. I forgot what his name is. But they Dom do the is news. live. Have you heard Dom is live news? He's basically uh, Keemstar. Basically, it's I not Dominic. Dom is live news. That's what his channel mm, is. No. He does like screen rants. Basically, mm-hmm. he doesn't show his face, but he, he it's like the same genre as a Keemstar. Okay. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Dude, man, I'm I'm so tapped into all it, dude. I just stay. <laughs> That's why I need like, you to. I, c- I look on Twitter. I have my own gaming Twitter. Which I don't yeah. really use for gaming that much, but I just follow up people I like. Yeah. So I see their tweets, and I'll get on YouTube, and I'm subscribed to so many people. Right. That I go through my homepage and I just watch them. Yeah. And then when I'm working, I do the same thing and just put it on my dash while I'm driving, mm-hmm. and I fucking just watch videos all day long. Well, so, I uh I I listen I listen to I'm really tapped into pot because I'm trying to like, first of all, this podcast thing is just one kind of like. What do you, I don't know what to call it. One brick in the building that I'm trying to create. Yeah, yeah. You know? Mm-hmm. Right now, it's got a lot of my attention. But I, yeah. I do vlogs. You know, I've done, like, some mukbangs. Yeah, yeah. Some I saw like, the one the other yeah. day with the hot wings. Yeah. <sighs> Monte Bro. and... Who, Monte and Devin, Devin yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, but he... Uh, that was Monte's idea, man. Them wings were hot Where'd as fuck. Where'd y'all get them from? Fucking party foul, bro. I'm party not foul? even kidding oh, you. Oh, dude. I had <sighs> the second wing down from them one dude, day that, and they dude they burnt me up bro like i love spicy also, food helens have you been to helens no where is i've that? had the hot wings at helens and those motherfuckers are fire listen clint that shit fucked me up dude <laughs> like and i was at the beginning i was like i'm gonna let y'all eat them i need to host and then mm-hmm. i was like i was like i'll eat one for the culture yeah and then like bro i took one bite i don't know if you watched it yeah, but i was like i didn't see the whole thing i saw your clip that you put on the yeah that was <laughs> that was what i was talking about i ate it and i was like oh okay bro it had a habanero pepper just sitting in the box it was like no <laughs> it, yeah apparently it had ghost pepper sauce in it which is like uh, dumb hot dude do you remember at the house when i ate that ghost pepper Yes, yeah. yes, bro. Dude, all right. The first time I ate a ghost pepper was at Bob's. Fuck, man. And Lupus was like, I'll give you $40 dude, for you know, this ghost pepper. Threw up did, in the yeah. trash can for like an hour, dude. It was the worst thing I've ever eaten in my life. Then I get drunk at y'all's house once, one night. Do it and again. And we're playing, we're playing like 2K or something. And Sam Underlin was there. And he's like, hey, eat this ghost pepper. I'm yeah. like, dude, fuck it. I'll eat it. I was drunk. Eat it. The whole thing. Five minutes later throwing up in the <laughs> oh my god dude i don't say like why is that a thing i don't know people how do people enjoy that you ever watch the hot ones show yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, that's why ones. we did it which the best hot ones i will say right now theo vaughn you uh, he's theo hilarious vaughn? dude he he's funny as shit dude the way he comes up with stuff like 
Which it might not all be true, but he's coming up with this on the top of his mind. Like, yeah, dude, he's a funny guy. You like Crystalia too? Crystalia, love Crystalia. I went and saw him live. They got and that. Connor bought that poster right there. We got his autograph oh, on the poster. Yeah. yeah, we went and saw him in Chattanooga, bro. Oh, yeah? <laughs> had me dying. I had a couple <laughs> beers and a, a Jack and Coke. Man, it was oh, awesome. Man. Dude, I saw Kevin Hart at uh, Bridgestone. How long ago was that? Probably a year and a half. Recently, was it was it funny, dude? Never stop laughing. Even <laughs> as like, even as uh, the people he had had bef- come on really? before him were hilarious. Yeah, Crystal Lee's openers weren't. Man, we were kind of like, really? dude, the openers at Kevin Hart. Yeah, great, dude. Like, dude, you watch that Kevin Hart documentary on Netflix, mm-mm. dude. You, if you like Kevin Hart, go to Netflix and just type in Kevin Hart, man, because you know how he's been through some controversy recently. Oh yeah, yeah. With he the, uh, dude, with it, the what was it, Grammys? Uh, the Oscars, Oscar? and also he cheated on his wife yeah. on mm-hmm. camera. On camera? Like, yeah, dude. So what's what? f- what's crazy is they were, like, filming a documentary mm-hmm. on him, and while the documentary was going on, all this shit just coincidentally happened no to be way. happening, and they were, like, following him through it. Oh, dude, it's a I cool... Dude, go check the documentary out, man. It's fucking cool. Like, it's a good documentary. Okay, I will. Kevin Hart is a fucking giant dude, bro he is hil- dude he do you know what like, at the top yes There's that's no what i was about him. to say bro he uh like, you'll see in this documentary dude he's got like his <laughs> own office and shit like he is really making like bro he's gonna be making his own like tv shows and movies soon mm-hmm. like produced by like kevin hart studios or whatever he calls yeah. it it's gonna be really dope dude, i wouldn't doubt it man he's a genius but man theo vaughn dude i mean he's from louisiana just Country boy. boy, like, yeah. dude, I lo- like King and the, you, you know Brendan Schaub. Yeah, from Joe Rogan. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. he's dude, funny. That's how I found. Big that's how dude. I found Theo. Really? I was watching Joe Rogan. I was just looking through people, and I saw Theo, and I was, I was like, all right, let's listen. The dude. mullet. Yeah, the oh. mullet, dude, dude. He rocks the mullet. Hell best yeah. mullet I've ever seen. <laughs> no, but he's hilarious, man. He comes up with just random shit off the top of his head. We don't know if it's true or not, but, but it's he, funny. It's funny. Hey, and King and the Sting, you ever listening to them? Him, is it's that his Theo, podcast? It's Theo and Brennan Shop. I haven't, I've listened together. to a couple of, this past weekend is Theo's like podcast by himself. Okay. And he has guests on and stuff, but Brennan Shop and Theo together is King and the Sting. Oh, I haven't listened to that, but I've listened to a couple of Theo Vaughn's <laughs> solo ones and they're, they're mm-hmm. fucking funny. And then the fighter and the kid, is uh Brennan Schaub and uh Brian Callen. Brian Callen. Yeah. And they've had Theo and uh, Crystalia. Yeah. On, yeah. And they both like kind of fought for this belt <laughs> or whatever to be the best. Yeah. And, and Theo end up winning, but I don't know. I man. just realized you were wearing some Nijas. Yeah, dude, the Nijas. Yeah. Dude, do you follow Nija on uh, Instagram? I don't, but I know he's like the coldest skateboarder ever. Dude, he's nuts. <laughs> And dude, I saw him post some stuff about these shoes, and dude, I love them, man. They're they're kind of like Vans, but yeah, they kind of are. They're skate. They're they're, they're not quite Nikes skate shoes. They but don't they don't look as they you don't can look skate like in sta- them, skate but shoes. you can still skate in them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I used to be a skateboarder. Dude. I know, I know. I loved it. I remember man. that. I, I'm thinking about I giving bought, you. Dude, a, I actually bought these, and I bought a skateboard. I went to fucking uh, Opry Mills. And I bought a skateboard, two hundred dollars. I bought the. I picked out the truck. Trucks, picked out the all everything. That. You know, if you're if you're skateboarding, you're buying everything separate and yeah, you're putting it together you yourself. Yeah, have to. <laughs> and, you uh, want a real board, dude. I would, I just been wanting to skate and never got into just, it. Just, I mean, I have it and I just haven't went, man. Dude, you know what's a cool alternative? But I want to. If someone wants, if someone wants to skateboard with me, Look. let me know. I need a skate park. We can go. Look, dude, we can go to Nashville. We can skate at the. Where's that? Where's that skate park in Nashville? I'm not. There's t- like a I good, don't know. dude. I'm not too not, sure. Like they took down the YMCA. Like we yeah, can't go there did. anymore. Look, dude, I just want to. Let me tell you this I though. I want to get back to my roots. A man. fucking alternative to that is like penny boarding and long boarding. Oh yeah. Bro, for real, for real, for like, real. Dude, if you don't have you any just hills, ride. You just you don't ride. Don't have any hills bro. around you, dude. We ca- we do. There's some. You been to Saddle Drive? Uh uh-uh. uh Look, man. Hell, hey, go down Tiger Hill. It's all I got. Oh say. fuck that! You'll die. <laughs> um, but no, for real, Clint. Mm-hmm. Uh, me and Connor, we we we've skated together before. It's fun to, we'll take you to Saddle Saddle Hill. There's one hill in Murfreesboro, bro. It's like, it's a hill. It's like curvy and yeah. goes around. Yeah, dude. 
bro, I'll text you, like, you know, if you're down, man. We'll, Dude, I'm into that stuff. We'll, uh, and, but and like my, I was saying, like, it's not like, it's still skating. You're riding, yeah. but like, you're not doing tricks or nothing. But like, mm-hmm. bro, for real, we'll, we'll, I will hit you up for Dude, real. Dude, I swear to God, when I was in, uh, like, middle school, mm-hmm. me and Ethan Hassel, I don't know if you remember him at all. I, I never met him. Me and Ethan Hassel and Julian Smith, he's in, uh, the band. Bad culture, with, yeah. What's what band is it? Bad culture. Bad culture, okay. Yeah. Me and Julian Smith, dude, third grade, actually. Dude, we used to skate all the time, dude. We love that <laughs> shit. My buddy Tommy Beckham. You said to, how? What my grade? buddy Tommy Beckham, you moved to Utah. Holy shit. You said third grade? Third grade. Third grade, man. Yep. What a time. Dude, I skated all the time. My brother was into it. Got my first board from him. It was, uh, uh, what was it? I can't remember. Anyway, my dad built a ramp for us. <laughs> Dude, we were into it, dude. I Shout used to go to the wine shit all the time. Go to the roll in, dude. We we snap. Bro, there oh, uh fun. I know David Price bought the Y man, but he, he needs to do something with it. Dude, it's just still sitting there. I, I know that's what I'm it. saying, man. Like he needs to make that back into a recreational park. Yeah. He need cause like think about that. They could open that back up as a as a pool and and a mm-hmm. a gym. And a bat, they got a basketball court in there. Like, bro, they need yeah. to, they need to open that up, man. People dude, need to, people need to. Fucking YMCA all the me time. Me too. My mom dude. used to work there. I love that, but we like, dude racquetball. Do you remember racquetball? Yes, dude. I used to. Dude, uh, when the fuck? When was the last time you heard of racquetball? <laughs> my uh, my mom. So she uh teaches, you know, but and she would yeah. like go after school, like she had like a part time job. She would go and tutor kids at mm-hmm. the Y. As, like, a another job, and, like, bro, I used to go to the Y every day after school to, like, 5, 6 o'clock, you know? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Play ba- pay basketball, bracketball, <laughs> run around. Dude, that, what was the after school club called? Uh, I'm not sure what it was called at the Y, but ESP was at the school. ESP, yeah, yeah. That was, ESP. my mom was, like, it was something separate. Dude, I fucking, I hated ESP at the time, but, like, you look back on it, and you're like, that was pretty cool. Yeah. Like, it was after school, like. I just remember my brother there at some point and like getting the lunchables at the fucking cafeteria Fuck yeah. table. I don't know. All right, man. You uh, fun, man. you got anything else you want to plug in? We're at an Dude, hour. I keep talking for another hour, man. Yeah, what are you can- talking about? <laughs> Why are you trying to cancel? We can, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this thing up. You got anything else you want to say, man? Not really, man. Follow you this at McCullough. Yeah, follow me on McCullough. Get back Dude, in the, really get back in the streaming. Plug. I'm get just back chilling. in the streaming, man. Yeah. Please. Maybe one day. If I guess better internet. Shout out to David McCullough. Yeah. <laughs> My dad. <laughs> uh thank you nah. guys for listening. If you made it an hour or seven into this, thank you. Um if you want to be a What's guest. What's the usual time you usually go? No, usually about an hour. Shit, let's make this the longest podcast ever. We dude. can. All right, we can go. My thing. How long? What's the longest? I think my had? longest one's like an hour twenty. Hour All right. 20? So dude, since, since you want to say, dude, hey, since you want to keep going, man, give us the next dude, I'm topic. Chilling. I'm drunk. Yeah. I had two margaritas for this. That's what I'm saying. All right. Well, shit. Uh, dude, since you you in, since you insist, go ahead, man. Tell talk to dude, me. Dude, what do we got? Talk to me. Uh, give me a topic. No, you give me a topic. <laughs> what? Uh. Um. Uh, okay. Dude, so, tell you can't say you've never listened to any. I know you've listened to some reaction videos. Uh-huh. And also, give me your opinion on Eminem. Is he the best rapper of all time or no? Um, I would say technically speaking, yeah. Okay. Technically, like... Like ra- wordplay, like when you say, uh, when bars. You, like, when you say rapper, yeah, sure. I would definitely... Mm-hmm. I would be pretty confident to say if someone was like, Hey, Austin, who do you think is the best rapper of, of all time? I would say some other rappers besides Eminem. I'd say, I would say, all right, Eminem... I would say old Lil Wayne, uh, best dude, rapper. Old, old you know, Lil Wayne, uh, dude. I would I would throw in maybe Jay Z. Like, bro, yeah. if you really go back and listen to old Jay Z, dude, I actually went back and listened to some Nas, like Nas, way back for sure. But the dude, thing about Nas is he he didn't but do it for a long time. You can tell it sounds time. old though, right? But, but it's it's good. It sounds yeah, good to me. Yeah, yeah. 100. But like you listen to like Eminem's old stuff, like it's just wild. And it sounds good, and it's wordplay. Well, the just... thing the thing with Nas is he didn't do it. So, all right, you think of a Eminem, you think of a yeah. a, a, a Jay Z, a Lil Wayne. They did it for ten plus years. Mm-hmm. Nas at a high level, ten plus years. Nas, he had. Have you listened to his Illmatic album? Mm-hmm. That was like, bro, like he peaked on his first shit. Does that make sense? And yeah, like his other started, his other albums, like like down. say say for example, Illmatic was ten out of ten. Mm-hmm. His other albums were like nine, mm-hmm. eight, 
eight, eight, eight. You see what I'm saying? And like, you don't really, when it comes to someone like Wayne, bro. Yeah. Wayne, Dude. come on, man. Everyone. Dude, I swear to God. What? What about? Wiz Khalifa, he's a good ass. I wouldn't call him the greatest no, uh, of all time, but he's a good white ass. dude. Tattoos on his face. He's good. Uh, good friends with Eminem, like all that. Yellow Wolf. Yellow Wolf. He's pretty good, dude. Best he, friend. He ain't did it in a best while. Best friend is one of the best songs. I swear. Oh, with uh, uh well, he has I, Eminem. I, rem- in I remember the uh, best friend and, and Eminem. I, I don't think I heard that, but I remember dude, that Gucci. The bars and shit. I remember in that uh, song he had with Gucci, where I just want to party. <laughs> you remember that? Like for real? Do you remember that? <laughs> yeah. I just, just want to party. party. <laughs> <laughs> That's wild, dude. All right, one more thing. Um, yeah, dude. We really okay. I, I was just I was yeah, trying to end it on like a a, a good note, but uh-huh. dude, like I have dude, the, floor. the rap battles. The rap battles, Eminem, MGK, Eminem, uh, Nick Cannon. What do you got? I mean, Eminem. Obviously, Nick Cannon just completely um, failed and he's gone. Yeah, Nick Cannon, he got bodied. MGK, he all had right. a good. All right, why you, you get my opinion really? Quick. Yeah, go ahead. go ahead. All right, he had a good song. I would give him a good song. It, it was sounded like, good. We were like you could bop in the to car, it like it was live. Bump like, it in the speakers. Hey, hey, whatever. All right, Eminem destroyed him. Why you got a name after a damn gun, but you got a man bun? <laughs> yeah. Like, oh my dude. god, bro! When I heard that oh, the first dude. time, I literally had to give you a career to destroy uh, it, dude, dude. I was in my car the first time I heard that, and I was dude, like, I was like, dude, why you got I your been, name? I had after- been because you know I watch those reaction channels, <laughs> and they're like, oh, dude, we gotta wait for Eminem to respond. Yeah, and then I I go on my feed one day, and I'm Eminem responds. I put it on my fucking dash, and I'm like, All here right, we go. Ride. I'm reacting dude, as well. I'm just like. <laughs> Oh shit! Why you got your name after a damn gun, <laughs> but you got a man bun? Like named after a machine gun, gun. <laughs> you you got got a man but you got a man bun. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. man. I, I, but I don't know if you, I don't know if you remember though. MGK used to be one of and my favorite smacked, rappers. Uh, yeah, dude. MGK used to be. He used to be one. Wild Boy was one yeah, of my favorite Wild songs Boy. back in the day. I used to bump that all the time. Mm-hmm. But what about him uh, slapping the microphone out of a? Uh, Adam twenty two, dude. <laughs> Adam twenty two is one of my. He's like, bro. I f- he, dude, no, he's a, no jumper is like my favorite yeah, channel. No like no bullshit. Good, but that was funny as fuck though. Mm-hmm. Adam was like, well, yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. I mean, think about it. Yeah. You're. That was like, what? What is he gonna say? What up? Like yeah. if. If you're MGK, wouldn't you be like, you know what, fuck him. <laughs> you know, like, come and say some wild shit. <laughs> but, like, he was like, fuck you, pussy. But I will say that MGK lost on a, um, Kill Shot. That was, I think that was the, what was the title of MGK's yeah, Kill song? Shot, his was Rap Devil. Rap Devil. Um, but he lost on Not Alike. He had already lost had on Not Alike. Alike. You remember that? The song that Eminem put out, not alike on uh, uh, Kamikaze. Kamikaze, yeah. yeah, yeah. Take Keith made we it. We are not alike. There's not alike us on the mic. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Dude, he went nuts on MGK right there. He said, because <laughs> you know how uh, MGK dissed him on a sub diss on Tech Nine's song. I, I don't know if I heard that. Mm-hmm. But, like, I I know, like, they've been beefing for a couple yeah, so years. MGK, MGK dissed What did he say on that Tech Nine track? I'm not Sure what he said. I'm not completely sure what he said on the uh, actual Tech Nine disc, but I know he sub dissed Eminem on it. And then on Twitter, <laughs> that's MGK, the wrong guy. Yeah. And then on Twitter, MGK was like talking about Eminem's daughter while she was like 17, so she was underage. Bro, so what? It, dude, Eminem brought it. Dude, I wish I could pull up the lyrics right now. Look at dude. Up, man. Let we me pull time. the lyrics up. Yeah, go ahead, dude. It's nuts. The wordplay and shit on it. It's fucking insane, dude, and I love this shit. Let me look. Get not a like, not a like man lyrics. bun, but you, <laughs> not <laughs> man. Have and you... then the fucking pull up bar. Did you hear that one? Not a uh, like. I don't think so. Uh, he's like, oh, fuck. Hold on, dude. Let me just pull yeah, the lyrics. Look it up. Quick. You're good, man. I have one percent battery, so hold it. Hopefully, it holds up before it does. You got the eight, bro. I swear the eight plus is one of the greatest iPhones ever. Really? For real, bro. Dude, I have the, you got the seven eight? plus. Oh, you got the seven? <laughs> yeah. Damn. Dude, we're, Dude, we're all, going back in time. Bro, here. do me a favor as my friend, man. Go on my Dude, YouTube channel upgrade. and check out my vlogs. I did them all on my iPhone. Really? But uh yeah. Dude. So what what are the Dude, lyrics? I heard. Dude, I've seen places where they're like, Dude, you can you can make vlogs with your iPhone. Yes, bro. Like, it does it ten eighty P image stabilization, it's there. But Sprint, 
his ass. So. You still got Sprint, man. <laughs> I, I don't still know have how, Sprint. I don't know how I remember <laughs> what carrier you have. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> you might actually need to look this shit up because I... Uh, I can do it. I can't. What what video? The on, not, alike, not Alike. Not Alike uh, lyrics? Eminem, Royce. Royce yeah, Not Alike. Alike. Mm-hmm. Which Royce is nuts. He was just on the LA Leakers not too long ago. I just listened to a Royce the 5'9", No Jumper. You should check that out. I, it was it was dude, pretty. I think I heard some of it. It was pretty yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah. All dude, right. Royce is a he backs him and him on everything pretty much. He's like yeah, and because him and Yellow Wolf had some beef. Yeah, he did. Yeah, him and that's Yellow, why I heard. And it. he was yep. like, and Royce was like, "Fuck you, then." <laughs> yeah. And yeah. Uh, Which right. dude? I dude, I swear to God, I saw Yellow Wolf running in Nashville, down the road one day. What? Dude, I swear to God, I saw him, and I actually like. I looked him up and everything, and he was like, "Yeah, I live in Nashville a lot." And like, he's from Alabama. Yeah, he's and from he was, like dude, down he south. He spends a lot of time in Nashville, and I was like, "Dude, that had to have been him." So what? Uh, okay, yeah. How? Where's it in the song? All right, it's like one of the first ones. What was I saying? We like, didn't have yeah. anything common. Okay, yeah. I don't right, do Jordans is, and not Mars. Is, this is Royce. Oh yeah, Royce the first on this song. Okay, yeah, yeah. I, say, I appreciate. All right, yeah, yeah. All right, this is all yeah. about MGK right here. You say you're affiliated with murderers, killers. The people you run with are thugging like you was going to do something. Acting like you catching bodies. And you got juice, little young, and you're bugging. You ain't never been charged in connection with battery, bitch. You ain't plugged into nothing. <laughs> All right. Basically, Let me break this down really basically quick. Basically saying you're a bitch. You ain't never been charged in connection with battery, bitch. You ain't plugged into nothing. <laughs> Charge, connection, battery, battery plugged. plugged? <laughs> Nuts. Wordplay, dude. Wordplay, beautiful. Clint, I really appreciate that you like, like you know me. I'm a big rap guy. Oh, I've yeah, always yeah, been yeah, like yeah. a lyrical. Dude, that rap. dude. This is like from when I was like, hey, dude. Yeah. Let me come on your podcast. I yeah. was like, dude, I have to say something about this. Yes, dude. Because I love wordplay and I love bars. Yes, and shit, bro. And I stay listening to these like Reactions. reaction channels. And they're like, they're, like, wait, 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 wait pause down. that. Like, what did he just? And say? And dude, they're getting hyped. They're like, oh shit. <laughs> All right, so, all right. You ain't been charged in connection with battery, bitch. You ain't plugged in nothing. Rap got spit lyrical bullocks and gats cocked your partners, but a tool up. That has not to do with muscular, but have guns for sure. You better put a strap on. In other words, if you're gunner, roll up with your gang. You're going to need an arsenal because this bar is over your head. You better have <laughs> arms if you're going to pull up. Skirt. All right. <laughs> on a Tay Keith beat. Like, yeah, the on, Tay Keith. Like, dude. the thing is, it's like, it's like a modern mm-hmm. day trap beat. And mm-hmm. they were like, Let's put some bars. Because, yeah. like, you know, and, and, man, you know, <laughs> I, I right, saw it. So, because this bar is over your head, <laughs> so you better have arms yeah. if you're going to pull, pull up. up. <laughs> yes, bro. <laughs> dude, shit is nuts. All po- right. Poets. Fucking insane, dude. And this is still Royce, or is this No, M? this is Eminem. That's M. This is all Eminem. That's second- all about MGK. Okay, yeah, yeah, all yeah. All about MGK. All before MGK dissed him. So this is why MGK dissed him right like, here. Hold on, man. I heard. Yeah. I, I threw the grapevine. You were talking some shit, man. Let <laughs> yeah. me go ahead and clock But, like, it. he destroyed him before MGK dissed him. Yeah. Like, even MGK's diss did not compare to this. Absolutely not. Okay. Oh, you run the streets, huh? Now you're going to come at me. Come and fuck with me, huh? This little cocksucker, he must be feeling himself. He wants to keep up. His tough demeanor, he just so he does a feature, decides to team up with Nina, but next time you don't gotta use tech knife if you wanna come at me with a <laughs> submachine gun. <laughs> next time you don't gotta use a sub machine gun. Subliminal disc, machine sub gun, gun tech nine, like all machine gun dude. Eminem is gifted cold. and he's sober. Like you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, like dude. Eminem is sober now. He's not like just like oh, right, yeah. he's not let me he's mm. not like all right, let me get real high and like just get in the zone. Yeah. Like let me go get drunk and get in the zone. Like no, he's just mm. like no. God was like, You're dude, a poet. Fucking beautiful. Bar Smith. A bar Barology. Smith. Yeah, a bar fucking just, He is an English mm. major. He he's a doctor in English. He's got his doctorate <laughs> Dude, in English, beautiful. bro. One hundred percent. But next time you don't gotta use Tech Nine if you wanna come at me with a sub machine gun. <laughs> but he's saying sub is in subliminal, subliminal disc. Machine gun, but he's also saying sub machine, machine, gun, machine gun. But he's also using machine gun, gun Kelly's <laughs> name. So he's like he's like sub so like a sub is you're not using their name. Yeah. But, he but he's using his name <laughs> in it. And then he goes, all right, hold on. Let me find it. Next time you're using me some machine gun. 
and I'm talking to you, but you already know who the fuck you are, Kelly. <laughs> Using his name again, but also saying he's R. Kelly. You already know who Which you- R. Kelly was... A using a weirdo fucking younger girls like he was tweeting. like he was tweeting <laughs> at Eminem's daughter under age, dude. Fucking insane. Insane. And then just destroys him like submachine gun. And I don't know who you the fuck you're talking to. I don't use sublims and I sure as don't sneak this, but keep commenting on my daughter. Hey, like, keep on telling motherfuckers, bitch, and kids you good, forgot really. And need y'all memories, y'all like. And the jaws, jaw memories, jawed, jaw rule. Yeah, jaw rules, yeah. memories, jawed, <laughs> like strawberry, dude. Fucking insane, dude. I'm done. Eminem he's a is the go, god, bro. Eminem, he's the goat. He's he's one. He's literally dude. One, I can't. Yeah. Like that that diss right there when he said R. Kelly. <laughs> you know you are Kelly. But he was still using his name, like. He yeah. said all the motherfuckers' names. Yeah, but he it, said but all ways. of Machine Guns Kelly's names, but in different ways. But saying that he sneak dissed him <laughs> without using his name, yes. dude. I just, I just can't, man. He's a fucking genius. Uh, Holy fuck! Like the motherfuckers are genius, dude. You can't beat Eminem. Absolutely not. In and the fucking, rap battle scene, who's fucking the, um, who's the guy that always goes on? Uh, What's the podcast where um, saying the guy was saying he's not a uh, he's a guest in hip hop? Joe Budden. No, no, Joe Budden has said some shit about him and Eminem is just him, but uh, yeah, fuck Joe Budden. Yeah, he's wet. Which dude, his podcast. What are you talking about? Actually, people say his podcasts are fucking. You said it's a good. former rapper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, I wish I, I don't even this. know, dude, man. It was Joe Budden's the only head. Joe Bud. So There's one more. When it comes to like podcasts, you. You got like the Joe Rogan, the the mm-hmm. No Jumper, the Joe Budden, but mm-hmm. like there's not a whole lot of I can't. No, there's not that many rap podcasts other than not like really. Yeah, Charlemagne. And Charlemagne. Like, that but that's radio. Which he did that's, Charlemagne too. That's not that even a song. podcast though. That's radio. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah. You yeah. know like the difference kind mm-hmm. of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like podcast. Like podcast is the internet. Yeah. Yeah, 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 you know what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. And uh, uh, radio is like is not. Yeah. You mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, who the fuck was it? Oh, uh. Dude, I just had it. <laughs> Dude, I need to. I need to remember this before this podcast is over. You can do it. Man. Uh, Dig deep. Dude, fuck. <laughs> Dude, I know it's on the top of my fucking tongue, dude. It's uh, Lord rap- Jamar. Lord, Lord Jamar. Jamar. I don't know. You don't I've know who Lord Jamar is? Him. No, I don't think. Yeah, I Lord have. Jamar was like saying, like he's on uh, Vlad TV. Okay. Vlad TV. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've probably seen so, his face. You know, have you seen Vlad much? Like Vlad TV? Yeah, yeah, his yeah. Podcast, sort of, kind of. like videos. Yeah. Vlad always is like trying to like stir up shit between Hell Eminem yeah. and like he's always mentioning Eminem and so like everything. So Eminem said this. What do you think mm-hmm. about that? Yeah. So uh, Lord Jamar was on his podcast saying that uh, Eminem's a guest in hip hop. Like he like he doesn't deserve to be here and shit like that. And then. I don't know. Eminem came back in a song at some point. He's like, hold on. The fuck let, out let me, I got this for you, buddy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he said, uh, he said, cause, uh, what rap group was Lord Jamar in? He was in, uh, like an old rap, old rap group. Really? I can't remember. Look it up real quick if you can. Lord Jamar. Fucking, see if we can find it first. Lord or Jamar. rap group. Brand Nubian? Yeah, Brand Nubian. I'd never heard mm-hmm. of them, actually. Who else was in that? See if you can find it. Diamond D. De- Wait. Lord Jamar. Brand Nubian. Uh, Grand Jamar, Puda Sadat X. DJ Alamo. DJ Sincere. I'd never heard of these guys, actually. There might have been a rap group after Brand Nubian that he was in. Hmm. Jamar is a frequent guest on Vi TV where he drawn attention for his comments on issues such as racism, sexism, and homophobia. Mm. Hmm. Yeah. So, Lord Jamar says some shit about Eminem, and Eminem was pretty much saying that, I'm pretty sure in one song he said he was, like, the weakest link in his rap group, and... Yeah, he said Eminem and Macklemore were guests in hip-hop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. And Eminem responded to Jamar on Fall on Kamikaze, and Which Jamar Jamar responded to Eminem on his podcast. That's what Wikipedia mm-hmm. says. 
Well, shit, Which, man. Dude, Vlad, Vlad's always trying to start some shit between him and yeah. somebody else and just starting some shit. Well, all right, man. We got to wrap this thing up. My computer. Yeah, wrap it up, dude. Um, I got my friend Clint. Right. Episode 30. We made it. Yeah, we did it, dude. All Thank right. you for coming on, for yeah, real. Yeah, dude, it's fun, um, man. Just talking. We need, to, Yeah, bro, we need to connect more, man. That's important yeah, in sure. life. Life is short. You don't know how dude, many. Dude, you lose so many friends since high school, dude. Yeah. Like, well, well, not losing, but, like, but you know, just come disconnect. Like, yeah, yeah you're, we're tired. You mm. got lives, relationships, whatever. Work, dude. Just. Um, you know, yeah, if you've made it this far, talk to your friends, you know? Talk to your old friends. Can reconnect with people. True. Um, This is episode 30 of the Sight Your Daily Podcast. Thank you guys for listening. Apple, Spotify, YouTube. Share to your stories. Thank bada you. bing, bada boom. Bada bing, bada boom. <laughs>